Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we're going to be talking all about the color of the year, Peach Fuzz, and how no matter your season, <laughs> whatever color palette you subscribe to, how you can wear the color of the year this year, just as something kind of fun. You don't have to, obviously, um, but if it's something you just kind of want to incorporate a little bit and just have some fun with this year, um, we're going to be talking about that today. But before we get into that, today is Friday, which means we have a Love Notions Feature Friday pattern, and that pattern is the Boyfriend Cardigan, and it is $5 today only. Uh, code 10TKS will get you an additional 10% off that sale price. Um, this is a great transitional piece to be grabbing. Um, cardigans are wonderful for this time of year, whether you're going into the cooler months or the warmer months, depending on which hemisphere you're in, um, but a great transitional piece and a really simple and quick sew. So definitely want to add that to your catalog if you haven't already. Okay, let's get into today's video. We are talking today about the color peach fuzz. Now, <laughs> I feel like names with colors are so arbitrary because, I mean, it's a peach. It's a peach color um, that, you know, it, that Pantone, the beings that, that Pantone have decided um, are is the color of the year. So you'll be seeing it not only in clothing, but in, um, you know, paint and textiles and just design in general all over the place. Um, but yes, that is this year's color. And on first thought, peach can be very much a, it can be a hard color to wear. Number one, it's a pale color. Um, number two, depending on your skin tone, it can look very skin tone-ish. There are, there are people out there with peach colored skin, um, so it can make you almost look a little bit naked, um, and obviously it tends to be a little bit more of a warmer color. So what are some ways that we can kind of wear the, this color, have some fun with it, while still keeping with our own personal aesthetic, or also while not, you know, you don't necessarily want to invest a ton of money into um, this color of the year if it's not like one of your absolute favorite colors. Now, if peach is one of your favorite colors to wear, absolutely, now is the time to be shopping for all of the fabric, clothing, accessories. <laughs> Buy them all, um, because you'll be able to find the color that you love uh, this year. So yeah, if it is your color, now's the time to buy. If not, maybe there's just some ways you want to kind of eke it in there just a little bit to have some fun. Now, now I'm wearing um, what I find is the closest that I have to peach in my current wardrobe, which is really more of a salmon color. Um, but I am going to play around a little bit with the new peach fuzz trend. And I want to give you guys some ideas to help you all with that as well. All right. So I've come up with a little schematic. So I've gone through, um, now I know not everyone's had their colors done by Color Guru. I just am using Color Guru as kind of a benchmark because that's what I'm familiar with. Um, but if you are interested in having your colors done and determining what season, what of the 12 different um, seasons and subcategories is your season. Um, I do have a code Tomcat Color that gets you 10% off your um, any of the packages that Color Guru offers, and they do virtual um, color analysis. I just found it to be very helpful in my own sewing and shopping practice. Um, and yeah, I just recommend it to everybody. But I have gone through, um, and honestly, I've gone through like Pinterest because I only have access to um, the cards that I can see. So I see my card, which I'm a copper spring. I'm a spring. And then I've seen my daughter's card, who is a calm summer. So she's a summer. And her card is similar to Jenny. Jenny's a moonlit summer, but they're not identical. There's some differences there. And the same, again, you can I can find almost all of them on um, Pinterest, but I was just kind of looking through of them. So um, a sunlit spring and a vivid spring, which are the other two springs, are similar to copper spring, but they have some variation in there. There's a little bit of difference. Um, same with all, all 12 of them. Um, and there's some crossover colors that, you know, like Ava's got some stuff on her card. Um, that are very close to what's on my card. So I've gone through and picked a good peach alternative and um, kind of get you close to what the, you know, the Pantone peach, peach fuzz color is. So I've put up here peach fuzz, um, this little schematic that I've made. As you can see, um, the bottom one here, the first one um, here is spring. And um, technically, now the color on my spring card is called peach fuzz, actually. But I feel like the color that's actually pe peach fuzz is a little bit maybe kind of in between the warm peach. It's a little closer to the warm peach. I've just gone ahead and gone with the lighter one. So anyway, 
Peach Fuzz, obviously, is going to be the easiest for springs and autumns to wear because we're warm color palettes and peach tends to be in a warm color. But you'll notice that um, with the spring color, it, it's pretty much, uh, it's kind of the same color. Now for um, summers, they actually have a color on here called Peach Sorbet, which if you're looking at... Um, the color cards here, you can see it's very similar to the peach color on the spring card, but it's a little bit cooler and a little bit more muted. So there's a little bit of more gray in that color. Hopefully it's coming across on film. I could see it when I was putting together this graphic on Canva. And then you go down to your autumns. And again, it's it's a little darker, a little warmer. Um, and it, it's uh, also just a little bit muted, but a little muted with a little bit more brown in there, a little more toasted. And then when we get to our winters, winter is the toughest one. It was the hardest one for me to um, make work with the peach fuzz, but you could kind of get the same feeling with their pale pink that they've got on here. Obviously, it is um, a cooler color. It's got more um, blues in there. Like, it's definitely more of a pink. Like, there's not hardly any orange orange in there at all for the peach. Um, so that's kind of how, if you wanted to translate the peach fuzz into your own color family, I think that that would be a great way to start. So this is if you're maybe you're wanting to wear um, stuff a little bit closer to your face. You know, they're showing all outfits in like a peach suit or, you know, if you're wanting to go head to toe in peach. And again, I'm not sure. You know, I look at my color card. I when you get your colors done by Color Guru, you get one card that has, um, they aren't this big, Jenny had these blown up, that has all the color names on them, which again, I find are pretty arbitrary. And then the other one, it's just the colors, but they'll, she'll have like, um, like pop on this color here, instead of it saying poppy red, it says signature color on mine. And um, I can't remember now what, there's like a playful color. Kind of your the of your good colors that are best for you. These are like your very very bests, um, and the peach fuzz is not one of those. But it's a good complement to the rest of these. So do I want to be head and toe in this color? Like I feel like it's good. That's gonna. It's just gonna look like I'm naked. <laughs> like it is my skin tone. <laughs> But, you know, I am, I have purchased some fabric, so we will see. I'll play around with it and see, um, you know, how I like it. Um, but I think that there's some great options for accessorizing with peach. And again, that's going to be super easy if you are in a, um, one of the warm color families like a spring or autumn, just because it's just very harmonious. But I've gone ahead and put together some alternative color palettes for um, all of the seasons, just some ways that you could wear peach. So maybe you put peach on the bottom half, like maybe you wear it as pants, or maybe you wear it as a crossbody bag. Um, I've actually gotten some Olive and June um, peach uh, nail polish. What I love about Olive and June, just a little side note, is that on all of their nail polish col colors, they show you that nail polish on different skin tones. So there's like a dark skin tone, a medium skin tone, and a light skin tone for all of their um, uh, nail polishes. I liked this one. This one's had a little bit more orange in it and it just popped a little bit more on the fairer skinned hand, which my hand is going to be a fairer skinned hand, um, which is why I kind of liked that one. But these are all great ways that you can kind of um, create your own little color palettes and have some fun with outfits as you're getting ready um, and maybe incorporating this a little bit. So for, we'll start with spring again. So for spring, I've just picked these four colors that I think look really harmonious with the um, peach fuzz. And again, you know, if I don't want peach fuzz all over me, I could very easily um, put it on as a pair of pants or as a skirt or something on the bottom half and then do a color that I think I like better up closer to my face, up closer to my face. Um, or finding a print that incorporates some of these colors together. I've got, this is a print from um, the So Haley Jane box in February. Um, it is a poly chiffon, but it obviously the peach fuzz is the background, but then it's got this um, kind of a fuchsia flower in it and also this really warm red flower. Well, if you were making this as a flowy skirt, um, if you were a winter, you could very easily pull this fuchsia pink out and wear that as a, a top up by your face and be beautiful. If you are someone of a warmer, like an autumn or a spring, you could pull this warm red up next to your face and it could really pop and look beautiful. So anyway, just keep that in mind that prints of fabrics are also really fun ways to pull this in. But I think um, by just putting a little bit nods, I think anyone can wear it is basically what I'm saying, even though I find it, it probably is a little bit harder. Summers, I think, can pretty easily do this as well. While they are a cooler... Um, 
color palette. I think that the more sherbet muted colors that Summers looks so beautiful in um, go really, really well with the peach. I think that it's, especially as we're going into the warmer months, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're heading into spring and summer, um, I think that's a really fun, um, almost beachy feeling color palette that you could kind of play around with. I love peach and mint together. I think that that color combination is really beautiful. And um, there is like a clearer mint that um, springs wear, but then more of the muted like aloe kind of color. Actually, Jenny got me these props, so I should be using them. But I think that these colors um, down here or like the sea glass. I think all of these are really beautiful with the peach color. Um, anyway, all in the summer palette. So I've picked some to go with those. Now, if you are an autumn and you're going um, a little bit more muted, I think some of the um, darker colors can look really fun. That's a good juxtaposition, like purple, uh, because if you think of peach as being an orange, it's across the color wheel from the purple. I think that that is, um, I love seeing what is that called? When they're directly across from each other on the color card, my brain just totally went blank and someone's going to remind me what that means. Um, but yes, when they are completely on opposite sides of the color um, card, I think that's a lot of fun to play around with. And I think mixing the darker tones with the lighter tones is also a lot of fun. So, um, and I also really like playing around monochro monochromatically. Um, so whether that was with the spring card, with kind of the um, marigold color, macaroni and cheese color, um, that with the peach, I think that looks really cool. Also, I think it looks really cool. Like some of the, um, warmer oranges and like brick reds and stuff that, uh, the autumns look beautiful in. I think that looks really cool with the peach as well. Um, even the, the darker, like, um, poppy kind of red, I think looks really cool with the peach. So, um, there's many options that you can play with. Now for winter, again, this was the hardest one, I think, but I think there's still some really beautiful ways that you can wear it. Again, there are reds that are in the um, color palette of, um, I don't have them on, on here, but um, that are in winter's color palette that I think like a, a cooler red, but it could look really beautiful with the peach. Um, also like the, the Kelly, the cool Kelly greens, that looks really fun with peach. Um, the dark purple, like that royal purple, that's really cool. Um, there's just a lot of options, um, I think, and you could play around with some of the lighter colors that are on uh, the winter cards. The winter cards tend to be a little, um, well, they're clear colors. Um, there's, just, there's not as many lighter colors on the winter card as there are on, say, like the summer card. Um, there's some of the darker colors. I also really love the black with the peach. I think that's kind of a fun juxtaposition and could be a really fun way of wearing black up by your face and then keeping uh, the peach down low uh, for your color palette as well. Also, you guys have a um, bright green that's on there, kind of a... Um, it's not really, well, it's almost a lime green, but it's pretty bright, like a chartreuse, but it's not a muted chartreuse like Autumn's. And um, it's probably closer to the clearer um, lime that's on my color card. Because again, there's crossovers on all the color cards. I think that with peach would also be really beautiful. So I think um, it would look really, really good. So whether that is, you know, just keeping garments away from your face and you don't have to put a lot, you know, if peach is something you're like, oh, I'm not sure, but I kind of want to play around with it. Maybe it's just like one thing, one skirt, one um, scarf, one um, pair of pants, you know, one pair of shoes. Uh, although I feel like a peach pair of shoes are going to look like a nude shoe on me. That could be a win-win for me, actually. <laughs> but maybe like a piece of... Um, Coral jewelry, that could be really beautiful in the peach color. Um, I have a really cool ring. It no longer fits me. Um, in fact, my daughter might have it right now uh, that I got when we were on a cruise when I was in high school. Um, it's a really beautiful peach. It's a, it's a coral ring um, that could be really fun. But any of those, um, you know, nails, you know, any way that we can bring in a little bit of fun and color and uh, just kind of play around with peach fuzz without having to fully commit to it. Now, again, if you want to fully commit to it, you should fully commit to it. Um, I think that it is a beautiful color. And I think that, you know, I may play around. With it. I may not be, um, I think I'm living a little bit of uh, P not PTSD, that's a little dramatic, but a little bit um, trauma related to um, when I thought that I was a cool um, skin tone which was like my entire life up until 2020. Um, 
I used to wear kind of that dusty pink a little bit, and that would absolutely, well, it washed me out and also made me look naked when I had it on. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful color on my daughter, and um, it just was too uh, too cool for me, but def I think what was really the problem, it was not a clear color for me. So maybe if I find a good clear peach, I'm going to have a completely different um, mind, like set mindset towards it. Um, also not, I mean, I don't tan or anything, but I'll, when the weather gets warmer and I'm outside more, my skin, I do get a little bit more color on my skin. Um, so that could make a big difference too, as we're going into the warmer months, just having, uh, being able to wear some of the lighter colors just because my skin is just has a little bit more, um, color from being out in the sun a little more without damaging it. <laughs> It's a delicate balance. Anyway, those are kind of my thoughts about peach fuzz. And hopefully I've given you some ideas on ways that you might be able to incorporate it into your own wardrobe. If that is something you're wanting to do, obviously, if it's not, then you don't have to. And that's fine. <laughs> it's just something that's kind of fun to play around with. Um, I'm definitely not a fan of the fashion industry saying, okay, these colors are out. You can only, you know, these are the new colors that are in to get us to buy more. That is absolutely not. Um, I do not agree with that. Um, but I do think that it can be fun to keep things current by, you know, I mean, I sew for myself, but adding a few things in there um, to give a nod to, to the current times without um, being a slave to the fashion industry. So picking those trends and those things that you want um, to play around with. Um, as you see fit and staying true to your own style in the process. So there you have it. I hope that this was kind of a fun, something a little bit different type of video today. And um, I hope you have a good Friday. I hope you get some sewing in this weekend, get all the sewing in, and I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye.